Well, hopefully all of Arizona is going to be excited about Arizona Science Center's Dorrance Planetarium that is reopened with some mind-blowing visuals, visuals, and they have cutting-edge technology as well. This is a whole new way to explore the cosmos. And so you know who we launched into space it was our Troy Lynch, who's giving us a closer look at this morning. How you doing out there? <laughs> Oh, I'm having the time of my life, Allison, right now. Not just because I love learning, because, you know, I'm an intellect like that, but you could literally teleport to anywhere on the planet. I mean, just look where I am right now, and you get this near 360 experience where you could just literally go to any place on the planet and also the universe, and you're getting this 8K plus visual where you can just get up close and personal, and you can learn more about the galaxy, the cosmos, and then also you can host some events, have some parties, maybe some weddings. The Dorrance Dome is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. And you know what? It's been a long time coming too because construction on this actually started in early 2024 and they just opened it up this past Saturday. I'm joined here by Alec Warren. Alec, thank you so much for joining me today. But this is a spectacle. How do you feel about the opening up and how have people reacted so far? The reception to the Dorrance Dome has been beyond our, our dreams. Uh, it, it's been just such a wonderful past few days here. We uh, opened with our grand gala to thank all of our sponsors and VIPs on Thursday night. That went tremendously well. Friday morning was our opening for our members uh, and the reception from the members was just wonderful. Seeing people come again and again and again for three right. or four shows in a row. Saturday as well, our, our grand public opening was fantastic. We had a couple drive all the way from Tucson Arizona two hours to be first in line for our very first show of that day and we had people go into three four or five shows in a row and we ran shows all the way until eight o'clock at night and had uh, a, you know over 100 people in the final show so it was just a wonderful opening weekend and uh, we couldn't have asked for more I think yeah I don't blame anybody who doesn't want to leave here because that was exactly my experience as of right now we're not leaving Alec so I hope you know that but just tell me about the capabilities of this place because it's not just educational that's right that's right so uh, our, our day-to-day shows will focus on the sciences but they'll also focus on art and culture as well really our, our broad strategy for programming here is to bring the world to Arizona and also from a content development standpoint create programs that bring Arizona out to the world gotcha. uh, and so through that we're, we can create immersive media such as what you see here we can use our real-time system capabilities to go anywhere in the universe and uh, thanks to the flexibility of the space we can yeah. actually clear out these 88 lower chairs to do yoga experiences to do live music ballet orchestra you name it the possibilities are really just beginning for us that has my name written all over it but we're running out of time but really quick this kind of technology you can find it not many places in the world where can you like where else can you find it uh, there are really only two other locations right now uh, that are in science centers that have this technology, one in Fort Worth, Texas, and one in Prague in the Czech Republic. So we are really the first in the Southwest, and I would argue the best, uh, that you could get this kind of experience. Yeah. This is state-of-the-art, and it's a must-see, too, here at the Arizona Science Center. The Dorrance Dome, remember that, guys, and make sure you come and check it out. We'll send things back to the studio. <laughs>